Ask So I'm going to be doing this one in English. Love, I'm in what this minds. Okay, cool. So I was really happy to hear that there's an entire program dedicated to talking about fucking up because I fuck up all the time. All the time. Uh, and so who the fuck am I is the first question. And what the fuck have I done? Uh, I've worked at six startups. I have co-founded three of my own. Uh, one of my earliest fuck-ups in life is that I dropped out of school when I was 19 years old uh, and did everything by myself, like a stubborn, stubborn fuck-up. Uh, and so, from all of the things I've done and all the different ways I've fucked up, I've had the chance to fuck up in some interesting areas. Uh, I've worked in genetics, I've worked in neuroscience, I've worked in ad tech, I've done some interesting things, and basically my entire career can be described in that one sentence, failing upwards, which is finding better and better ways to fuck up. So let's just talk about my most recent fuck ups. This is just in the last uh, 18 months. I had a startup called Legatum. We got that thing stuck in a reverse merger and the, the startup is basically dead. I fucked up because I picked the wrong co-founders. Uh, I have a startup called Groove. I actually pitched my startup to Index Ventures, a really big VC, using nothing but a napkin and no product. This was an excellent fuck up. And finally, Kernel, which was actually this cutting edge neuroscience startup. And my biggest fuck up was realizing that I wasted 11 months there instead of spending my time working on my ideas. Uh, and so these are just the most recent fuck ups. I have a hard time picking out what fuck up me urish fuck up. It's already got And so I actually want to talk about how not to fuck up your fuck ups. <laughs> so the most useful thing you can do is figure out how to fuck up in more and more useful ways, right? Uh, and so the first thing is you need to build a fuck up framework. You need to have a system for how to fuck up. This is a great example of how to fix your fuck ups as you go. <laughs> so step one is you have to own your fuck up. You have to be able to admit, okay, I fucked up. Uh, anytime I've actually found a way to make it better, it's because I had to first admit, well, you know what, I fucked up. And it will ask to assume since pat bavor fuck up, which is honestly fucking up. <laughs> Second, you have to learn to shut the fuck up. <laughs> because talk minus action equals shit. And I had to learn that um, saying I'm sorry, that's an excuse. Uh, doing something about it, that's a real apology. And so to really learn how to fuck up in better ways, one of the first things we have to do is learn what actions to take. And so, step three, <laughs> I, call, I call this step turning shit into chocolate. And the way it works is uh, two things. The first is what I call anti-pattern learning. And it has everything to do with fucking up again. Uh, I look at it this way. Um, I've worked at many places and I've worked on many projects. There might be a million different ways to do something, Gorinka Statsvi, for it to work, but there are very few and definite ways to absolutely fuck it up. And learning those is way more important than learning one way of getting something done. And so that's what's called anti-pattern learning. And the other is what to do, how to act, which is to lean in to the problem rather than leaning away from the problem. Yevet Namana to the first slide, which is to admit you're fucking up. So the best thing you can do is embrace your fuck up like this guy right here. The next step, okay, so I have this thing. Um, people are always saying these very clever quotes, inspirational things, Amen Mart, they call it conventional wisdom. Actually, I think some of those are fucking stupid, in my opinion. One of them is uh, this quote, which I mean, I love Albert Einstein, uh, which is insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And my argument is, actually, if you learn to do that thing better over and over again, that's not fucking up, and that's not insanity, that's called practice. And practice is very important. So actually learning to practice your fuck ups makes you better at fucking up. <laughs> now, a moment of philosophy. These are the four noble truths, as the Buddha stated them, that there is suffering, that suffering has an origin, suffering can stop and that there is a path out of suffering and i would argue that there is fucking up life is fucking up fucking up has an origin as well usually it's me 
uh, fucking up can cease and that there is a path out of fucking up. And so these are the four noble truths of fucking up. And I try to live by these every day. Finally, um, people like to say failure is not an option. This is another one of those things where, again, I've used this word a lot, but fuck that. Actually, it's always an option. Failure is not the worst thing that can happen to you. In most cases, if you're doing the other things, leaning in, owning your mistakes, it becomes the best way to learn. And so when people say failure is not an option, they're wrong, and you shouldn't be ashamed either. Uh, you can take shitty fuck-ups and uh, alchemy. Alchemy is this like sort of hekatain thing, but you can turn lead into gold and like water into wine. You can also take big, bad, shitty fuck-ups and turn them into shiny gems of wisdom. And that's the alchemy of fucking up. This is what I've learned from my fuck-ups. And it's our job, each of our jobs, to learn how to do that for ourselves in our own way. And finally, the only way to keep, the only way to learn how is to just keep fucking up. But with a system that allows me on a daily basis to fuck up in more useful ways for myself and the people around me. And so I have this thing I like to say. It's from a guy on the internet called Z Frank. It's called Fildi, which is fuck it, let's do it. And so with a system like this, every day when I go out and decide what my new fuck-ups will be that day, I just remember to keep my filthy strong, which is to say, fuck it. The worst thing I can do is sit around and wait. My pencils are sharp enough, so I go out and I do the thing. And so this is how I sort of tell the story of how I've learned to fuck up in better and better ways, which is failing upwards. Thank you. This is a baby philosophy. I appreciate how many times you said the word fuck. That was great, first of all. Second of all, how did you come to this mentality? How did you, how did you learn to adopt this philosophy? Uh, okay. How is by fucking up, and that's not to be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in reality, it's, it's more like, if I didn't, then I was going to end up in a place where I didn't want to go out and live my life anymore. Because my biggest fear is to make a mistake and hurt myself or other people, but there's no way to live without fucking up anyway. And so the best thing I figured out how to do was, it's exactly like Buddhism, where like if Buddha says like, uh, life is suffering, well, life is also fucking up, you know? And if that's the case, then that should be where I start from, and I should learn to be okay with it, to make it better. And so I guess it just came out of that. Thank you. Thank you, and you also, yes, sir. Yeah, um, just quickly, can you go into like one of the examples of Having a bad co founder and how you determine they were bad and what aspects of it. I made a huge mistake. Uh, the, it was right in my face. Like, if you meet someone and you spend a week working with them and you realize right away that you're afraid to continue that relationship, you should trust your gut and run. Uh, and I didn't. Uh, I stuck around. He, uh, someone who's not open to suggestions. Uh, someone who's keeping secrets from you, as a co-founder, for example, uh, and someone who will tell you, like, yeah, yeah, no, don't worry about it, I got that covered, and, like, takes things and takes them over here, and it, in co-foundership, it's, I hate saying this, but it's like marriage, and if you want, like, a really good working marriage, and the startup is your baby, the two of you have to love that thing more than yourself, and be able to tell each other everything, good and bad, uh, and I didn't have that with these co-founders. So it was fucked up. Thank you. Harder garlic higher in it, Dal. I'm in a higher in command in a partner's family. You're telling me, Harder. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.